Hello world, it's Siraj, and I've got an image generation app running right here that you can see on Intel's developer cloud. And what it does is it uses stable diffusion, which is one of the most popular image generation models out there to generate an image on Intel's developer cloud on a CPU, which is great because most deep learning these days is done on a GPU. I mean, there is CPU that are being used sometimes, but the vast majority of this work for training is being done on A100s, H100s, and it can be very expensive. So I was just at AWS reInvent to check out Intel's uh, Xeon processors and some of their other offerings. And I wanna give you a quick demo of Intel's developer cloud today so that you can see what it's like and how you can train an end-to-end -end deep learning model on a CPU without using a GPU. And I saw that Intel introduced their fifth generation Xeon processors, which are great. They've got a lot of improvements that the other models didn't have. They have, you know, you know, data scientists require systems that are highly interactive, that can handle massive volumes of data, and that can use tools designed for single node processing. And GPUs alone are not useful for these workflows that involve these explorative tasks like data processing, data analysis, early data visualization, exploratory data analysis, all this stuff, you know, it, it can be expensive. And Intel workstations, they have these processors with built-in AI capabilities with persistent memory options up to six terabytes and a whole ecosystem that's not centered around CUDA and NVIDIA's ecosystem. And so NVIDIA GPUs, they can't really support end-to-end -end workflows in the same way that Intel can because you can't do certain operations on in, on, in CUDA. CUDA is NVIDIA's GPU programming language. It's responsible for allowing matrix operations to run in parallel across their systems. But with Intel, with Intel Xeon, it's the only CPU in the world with built-in AI acceleration. You can do this entirely on a CPU. And uh, it outperforms NVIDIA's A100 on some of the most popular ML algorithms, which is awesome. And uh, you know you don't have to deal with CUDA lock-in, which is great. So we're going to go into the Intel Developer Cloud, and you can see several options here for accelerating AI on high-performance computing, optimizing for the edge, building multi-architecture, FPGA applications, a lot of stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to create our own account so that we see the console. And from the console, we can see different types of processors that we can use to run deep learning models off of. And the one that we're gonna use is we're gonna use a CPU. In particular, we're gonna use the fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable processor that they recently announced at AWS reInvent. It was so much fun. There were so many different things going on, so many exciting activities, people, events. Intel, the team was so great. They were gracious and showing me all of these different things. And I, and I really enjoyed the experience overall. So thank you so much, Intel, for that. Now, I want to say that inside of this instance, once we choose to launch a compute instance, we're going to select fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable processor, and then we're going to see a small virtual machine or a larger virtual machine. And this small virtual machine, it's got 16 gigs of memory, eight cores, 45 cents an hour, and we're going to run it on a Linux operating system. We're going to name this instance Deep Learning Bot, and we're going to select some keys. So what we have here is an instance where we need to upload some keys and keys are SSH keys. We generate them on our uh, desktop or laptop or local machine. They're basically a way to generate a unique identifier so the server knows that it's you, it authenticates that you're the person who has access to this. And once we upload that key, we can launch an instance here. And we're gonna run this Jupyter Notebook right here for generative AI. And we can see with a few clicks, we can just get it running and just have it generating an image for us with a nice user interface. I just wanted to give you this quick video, show you a little bit about how Intel's Xeon processor works, why it's better than NVIDIA. And I hope that we move to a world where there's not GPU rich and GPU poor, but AI is truly democratized and we can run a mixture of experts like GPT-4 on CPUs, not just GPUs. And Intel is really leading the way in that regard. And so thank you, Intel, for that and for showing us all this incredible technology. If you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe. And until next time, I've got to go be CPU rich. So thanks for watching.